And uh, on the other end of our AT&T line right now is Brian Shaw at the Dune Bag Golf Club. How nice to hear your voice again. Welcome back to the program. Thank you, Michael Patrick. Thank you very, very much. What do you think of, uh, you know, the, we, we get to pay a special attention to Lynx Golf uh, when we watch the Open Championship here. You've got that beautiful Lynx course at uh, Dune Bag there, and sometimes the players even stop by Dune Bag to get ready. Phil Mickelson last week won the Scottish Open, and that surprised a lot of people because his game doesn't necessarily seem to be suited to Lynx Golf. He, he likes to put the ball in the air with the lob wedges and all the rest of it. But I understand uh, after winning in Scotland, he's proved he could do it and maybe is one of the favorites this week. I like his chances. Uh, in fact, actually, I've, I've put 25 euros each way on him at 25 to 1 last week. I backed him last week. So I, uh, I think what's happened over here, we've had an extremely good summer, Michael Patrick, and the golf courses are very hard and bouncy. Um, the rough is not as thick as people uh, as it looks, actually, mm. and it's quite burnt, and I think it's going to suit Phil. He doesn't need to use the driver. He can use irons and rescue clubs off the tee around Muirfield, and then his, his short game is phenomenal. So I'd actually, to be honest with you, I think Tiger and Phil, it could be a great showdown come Sunday afternoon. Yeah, we wouldn't typically expect that at the, the Open Championship. We would expect to see... Oh, I don't know, Rory McIlroy, perhaps. Who? Uh, but he basically admitted last year he's not really uh, one for Lynx golf either, is he? No, I, you know, uh, I think it's going to frustrate him this year. I think um, there's a lot going on in poor Rory's head, mm -hmm. um, and then around the Lynx golf courses where he gets some, you know, inconsistent bounces. Let me say um, that that I think. You know, it's a patient man will win this. And if you look back in the winners in Muirfield and the likes of Trevino, uh, Ernie Els, uh, Tiger, obviously Faldo with his 18 pars and in, 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 um, on the on the Sunday to win it. So mm. the really great players win, and that's why I think um, you know I think Phil has a great chance. I think Tiger has a great chance. I think Ernie Els could go back to back. Um, he's 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 uh, he won't be afraid. So I, 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 I find it hard to see anyone come out of the pack and win this one. I just think it's going to be someone with a lot of patience and that has, has some extremely good touches around the greens. Uh, Miguel and El Jimenez was 35-1, to 1, as I see, and uh, four under off to a hot start this morning. Yes, you know, again, he, he's, he's quite long on the tooth, as we'd say over here. So I, I, I just think, you know... You know, he, I think he'll struggle come the weekend. I think it's going to be very hot. Um, I, I, I just think, I, I, again, I find it hard. I think Luke Donald could do extremely well. Um, he's, 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 you know, he's a proven winner. Um, he's a simple golf game, uh, and and I think he's, you know, I think he, he's 33 to one as well. I think he, he he's he's definitely value for money. Um, there's. You know, I, I can't see a Sergio. I think Graham McDowell might struggle a little bit. He hits a two, two. Everything is right to left for Graham. I think in Muirfield you got to hit both ways. Um, you'll see Adam Scott do well um, because he's such a good good ball striker. Um, and you know, again, I, I I just think the way the golf course is set up, it's 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 that classic player. Now, there's one guy that who won it a few years ago, and I watched him here in Dunbeg for the last. Uh, four days he came over um for five days actually here uh was Stuart Sink and he practiced he played 36 holes a day wow. 